Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, doing a little video on this flashlight convoy BD06. Um, never done a flashlight review before, but this thing's so cool, I kind of want to make a video about it. Um, there's a lot of videos out, but they seem to all be in Russian, so I figured I'd make a uh, video for those English speaking consumers that were interested in this flashlight. So, got a lot to talk about. So, um, if you guys check the description below, I'm going to try to have like a table of contents that tells you what I'm talking about at what point of the video because I'm going to be talking about modes I'm going to talk about the mode sets because it comes with 12 different mode sets which is uh, I'll expand on later but um, don't see a lot of flashlights that have different mode sets which is pretty cool for a $30 flashlight but um, yeah I'm going to talk about mode sets I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to cycle through those mode sets uh, talk about the accessories features and um, <clears throat> try to do a comparison between this and a few other flashlights so it might be a little bit long of a video but if you're trying to just fast forward to uh one of those main points go ahead and check the description and i will let you know what you're looking for and when all right so first off we're going to talk about modes and um First, I want to talk about how to cycle through those modes. And what you do to turn it on is you're going to hit that button. And to cycle through modes, what you're going to do is you're going to half click that button to the point where you press it, but you don't press it all the way to the point where it clicks. And as you can see, if I half press it, it's going to cycle through different modes. And another way you can cycle through modes is you can actually turn it on and you can turn it off and back on. And that will also cycle through the different modes. <clears throat> um, it also has mode memory. You can turn mode memory on or off. And how mode memory works is if you turn it on, right now mode memory is off. So let's put it in high. If I turn it off for longer than two seconds and I come back, turn it on, it's going to be on low. Because the, the uh, mode I'm in, it starts off on low. The mode set I'm in, it starts off on low and it gradually ramps up and then it goes through all the strobe modes. Um, <clears throat> so if I leave it off for longer than two seconds, it's going to automatically go to the first mode of the mode set, which is going to be low. Some mode sets start in high. So if you want it to start in high at all times, then what you do is you turn my memory off and you have the flashlight set to a mode set that starts in high then every single time you turn it on it will start off on high then you start ha um, half clicking the button to ramp the flashlight down um, uh, the opposite goes if you want to go start off in low every single time then you just pick a mode set where the flashlight starts on low then you half click and then will start slowly start to ramp up all right so mode memory is off so every single time i turn it on it's going to start in low mode, and as you see, that's low. And you can slowly ramp it up till it gets to the um, strobe modes. And I want to talk about the strobe modes. This is the first strobe mode. It is um, just standard strobe mode, and it's just blinking fast, and then it fluctuates in between two different speeds of blinking. So it goes fast, then it goes faster, then it slows down again, then it goes faster again, then it slows down. Um, next mode is going to be biker mode. So right now, it is on. It is on constant flashlight mode, but it also has a little blink behind it. So if you're, you are riding a bicycle or if you're walking a dog late night, um, this is a perfect brightness, probably around 20 to 35% brightness. Um, <clears throat> if you're like walking the dog, it's perfect. If you're just pointing a flashlight at the ground right in front of you, I'd say this is a great brightness setting, but it's also got the little flash behind it. So if there's passing vehicles, um, they're going to notice you more. So, you know. It's just a um, safety precaution for when you're walking at night uh, around driving vehicles. Next mode is going to be, this is the battery check mode. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this mode works, but the first time I um, put a fresh battery in it, it used to blink four times, and I've been messing with it for a while. Now it blinks three times, so I'm assuming four blinks means it has a full battery, and it, as the blinks start going lower, that means the battery is dying. So once you are at one blink i'm assuming it's less than 25 percent battery and probably about time to charge it <clears throat> and this is the next mode setting for the uh strobe modes and this is just sos mode where it blinks three times short three times long then three times short um it just means sos in um 
Morse code. So it's just going to keep doing that over and over and over. And if you're ever stuck out in the wilderness, uh, you're supposed to just leave it on this mode. So hopefully someone can see you and know that you're in trouble. All right, now that we've gone over modes, let's go through the mode sets. And let me show you straight off the GearBest website for this flashlight. This is the instructions on how to go through the mode sets and how to set it for certain mode sets um, of, out of those 12. And uh, this is also how to turn mode memory on or off. Um, this is a little complicated map. I'm I, kind of difficult to understand. I'm gonna show you how to do it in two seconds, so I would ignore this part, but this is the important part. These are the actual mode sets. There's one through 12. All um all different, but um they kind of go in groups of three. Like one through three are pretty much gonna be the same thing, except as you can see, one ramps up in five different brightness settings. It's gonna start at point one, go to one percent, gonna go to ten percent, thirty-five percent, then a hundred percent brightness. Then after that, it's gonna go to the strobe modes, which is gonna be strobe, biking, and battery check without SOS mode. So it's gonna have five brightness settings and then three strobe settings. And number two. Uh, the second mode set is going to be the same as number one, but it takes out the strobe settings. And number three is the same thing as number two. Uh, no strobe settings, but it's going to go from 100% down to 0.1. So it's going to have five brightness settings, but it's going to start at the highest intensity. And then as you half click, it's going to start going lower instead of the opposite direction where it starts low and starts ramping up. Four through six, um, same as one through three, except it's got three brightness settings at 1%, 20%, and 100%. And, of course, four has the strobe modes, and five and six do not. Five goes from low to high, six goes from high to low. Um, seven through nine, same exact thing, except those three are kind of more of a battery-saving mode. It only goes up to 50% intensity, so if you don't like 100% intensity at all, want to completely take it out, you can go to 7 through 9, and then it will just go up to 50%. <clears throat> 10 is the setting that I use. I don't like strobe settings, and I like having four, uh, four brightness settings. So this one has 1%, 10%, 35%, and 100%. That is the mode I use as of right now. Uh, number 11 is the only strobe... Uh, only option where you can start at a high intensity and then go still have a strobe mode. So that one's just 100%, 20%, and strobe mode. And 12% is, or the 12th mode set, if you want to call it a set, is just 100%. So it's actually just one mode, but it's full intensity all the time. So for number 12, it does not matter if you have mode memory on or off because it's just going to be at 100% all the time. Alright, now that I've shown you guys the mode sets, I'm going to show you guys how to get into those mode sets um, and how to turn mode memory on and off. First off, I want to show you guys that mode memory is off as of now. Let's put it in high mode, then I'm going to turn it off, wait two seconds, turn it on, it's in low mode. So, clearly, mode memory is off. Let's see if I can put it on strobe mode, turn it off, wait one two seconds, turn it on, it's going to be on low mode. So as of now, mode memory is off. I'll show you guys how to turn that on first. Um, actually, first I'm going to show you guys how to put it in configuration mode. Um, and how you do that is first you turn it on. Then after that, you're going to double click a bunch of times fast. And eventually it's going to stop turning on. But you want to make sure you double click because if you click it to the point where it's off, it's not going to be in configuration mode. So you actually have to double click every time, make sure it's in the on mode at the end. And after 10 times, it's going to start, stop turning on. See, as long as you double click to the point where it's on, it's going to go to configuration mode. And uh, I'm not sure if that's going to actually show very well on the video, but when it's in configuration mode, that's when you want to click a button. It's going to buzz twice. It's not going to make a physical sound where you can hear a buzz, but the flashlight is actually strobing very fast. I don't think it comes up on the video, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See? It's off. And there's a buzz right there. Stops. And there's a buzz right there. So, what you're going to want to do to turn it 
on or off um, mode, memory mode, is you want to click during that second buzz. So as of now, the mode memory is off. It's on though. So yeah, mode memory is off. So we're going to turn it on. All right, so there's a first buzz, and on the second buzz, you're going to click. There's second buzz, click. So my memory is on now. So let's put it in the strobe mode. I'm gonna turn it off. Wait two seconds, turn it on. It's gonna go right back to strobe mode. So just as easy as that, my memory is now on. And it gets a little more complicated when it goes, when it gets to the uh, mode sets. Not super complicated, but you're gonna click it 10, double click it 10 times to the point where it goes into configuration setting. And then once it, strobes or yeah once it strobes or buzzes the first time you're going to click the button and then that's going to put you in the mode set mode and it's actually not going to do anything you have to act act yeah. oh, sorry you have to activate it by clicking the button one more time and that's when the flashlight is going to start blinking and however many times it blinks is whatever mode setting you're going to want to put it on so if you want to put it on mode set one then as soon as you click it the flashlight's going to blink as soon as it blinks you click it again so i'm going to show you that I'm going to put it in mode set one, which it already is, I believe, but, uh, yeah. Six, seven, eight, whoop. What's happening here? All right, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I clicked during that first buzz, so now it is in <coughs> configuration mode for the mode sets. So as soon as I click it, it's going to blink once click it again. That means it is in mode set one, which is going to be five different intensities. One, two, three, four, five, then the strobe settings. And there it is. So I'm going to put it in mode set four now. Or actually, let's see here. Let's check the mode sets. All right, let's put it in mode set five. So that's just going to be three different in intensities. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there it goes. Click on the first buzz. And then to start it, I'm going to click the button. There's one. So if I wanted mode set one, I would have clicked right there. There's two. There's mode set two. And so on and so forth. Once it blinks three times, click after that to set it to the third mode set. That was four. So this should be five. Click right there. It is now in the fifth mode set. And as I said, the fifth mode set is going to have three different brightness intensities starting from low to high. So there's low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. So easy as that. That's how you set it to the mode set you would like. 1 through 12. If you want it to be at 100% intensity at all times, that's the 12th mode set. That means it's going to take a little while. But you just sit there and wait till it blinks 12 times. So you have to wait for it to blink once, then twice, then three times, all the way to 12. And after it blinks 12, 12 times, click the button. It's going to be in the 12th mode setting. So that is how you set the mode settings. All right, now to talk about the accessories, what it comes with. And uh, first off, comes this comes in this box. Pretty decent box. Um would make a great gift if that's what you're thinking um it actually came with a usb dock um, but it does come with the uh, european plug so um that mine actually came with this but it came with this in the packaging so obviously gearbest sent it um with the flashlight it did not come in the box so i'm assuming if you get it sent to the US or Canada or wherever they use this sort of plug there they will probably send an adapter with it um, they did for me but I'm sure that's not a guarantee um, it does definitely come with this in the box but this did not so that was a little plus um, I have a ton of USB docks so I don't even need this probably not gonna use it um, it comes with these two little star guys what those are for is if you would like to use an 18650 with this if you were put it if you were to put an 18650 into this flashlight obviously that is a lot thinner of a profile than a 26650 so it would 
rattle quite a bit if you were to use one of those. These you put on the outside of an 18650 and it thickens the profile so it won't rattle. I haven't tried them, not sure if they work all that well to the point where it eliminates the whole rattle, but these are just so you can use an 18650 with the flashlight. Um, I personally like having the uh, most amount of battery capacity possible, so I make sure to have the largest battery um, that accommodates my flashlight. So. I have a 2650 in here, and there is absolutely no battery rattle. Love it. <clears throat> uh, comes with a lanyard, and the lanyard loops on the flashlight are sideways, so that means it can tail stand, and even if you were to put the lanyard in, it would go in sideways, so the lanyard would not affect the tail stand at all. Um, one thing I have not mentioned yet, this flashlight is fully rechargeable without a uh alternate battery charger and that's what this is for um as you can see it's got a micro usb slot right there and what you do is you clip that right onto the button and you can actually still use the flashlight with the button and then you take the included micro usb to usb cable go ahead and plug that in like so and you got a usb cable plug right here go ahead and plug that in and then it is charging right there as you can see you can actually it actually has an indicator on the inside whether it's charging or not red means charging green means fully charged um but yeah oh, that away. so this is a true 30 dollar budget flashlight because not only is it low cost and a very good flashlight for the price it also comes with its own charger so if you do not have a charger then that means you do not have to go out and spend five to thirty dollars on the charger um, depending on what kind of charger you want to get so that is everything it comes with right there all right so now I kind of want to talk about some of the features uh, what I like about the flashlight and Maybe compare it to a few of these guys over here or something like that. But, um, <clears throat> alright, so I think this is a great flashlight. The fit and finish is great. Um, it feels great in the hand. It's the perfect size. It's a great indoor outdoor flashlight. Um, the spread, the hot spot is, is not too pinpoint to the point where it's obnoxious inside. Like this one, this one has like a pinpoint, um, this is Comboy Ace 3, has like a pinpoint, um, hot spot. So it's great for, throwing outdoors but uh honestly like how often do you need to really see that far now, this thing will you know probably point out hundreds of yards but i mean how, how how often do you need to really see that far you know so this one has like a medium hot spot it's got a pretty pretty intense hot spot to the point where it's going to be able to throw but at the same time it's not so intense to the point where if you're indoors it's kind of blinding you whenever you're pointing at a white wall or something like that you don't have like this intense bright hot spot that's blinding you to the point where you can't see anything in the actual flood of the flashlight so <clears throat> i feel like this is um a perfect in between um it's got just about the same hot spot as like your phoenix flashlight so if you got any of those you kind of know what you're going to be dealing with hot spot wise but um yeah besides that i mean i love the fact that you can change the modes which you can't usually do with most of your other flashlights your uh, like your through nights your night cores your phoenixes to my to my experience at least um maybe there's some higher end flashlights that they make where you can but usually the flashlights that i buy from them are in like the 50 to like 120 dollar range so so far i have not come across a flashlight of theirs that you can actually change the modes um <clears throat> The difference between the modes of this and these are the fact that like when you actually get into higher end um, flashlights you're going to be able to uh, find a way to instantly get to high instantly get to high or instantly get to moonlight or something like that just like on this and also on the phoenix their <clears throat> modes are going to be low medium high turbo and then right back to low and full mode memory so whatever you leave it in that's where it's going to be at and if you hold the button 
then it's going to put you instantly into the strobe mode, which this one has a constant strobe, does not have an SOS, only has one strobe mode. And then if you click it again, it's going to put you back in whatever mode you were. And this is uh, may not look like it's on, but it's actually on very low mode. It's actually more of a moonlight mode. Um, once again, if I put it in high, hold it on strobe, and I want to take it out of strobe, click it, it's going to put me back in the high. It's going to be the same thing with this Phoenix here. Modes are exactly the same. Tail click for on, low, medium, high, turbo, or yeah, low, medium, high, turbo. Yeah. <clears throat> and once again, mode memory doesn't matter how long you turn it off for, how short. It's going to turn on whatever mode you turn it off in. Hold the button and strobe. And the difference with the Phoenix is it's it, its strobe mode is going to be the fluctuating. Um, where it goes slower, and then it goes faster, and then it goes slower, and then it goes faster. But click it one more time, it's going to put you back in high, or whatever mode you were in at the time. So, this one is not going to have that, where you can, you know, turn it on, and then if I want to go strobe from whatever mode, I can't just hold the button, and then go into strobe mode. So, this one, you're you're actually going to have to like, you know, make sure you're in one of the mode sets where you actually have a strobe mode Then you have to cycle through the strobe or through these settings to actually get to that strobe mode. But, um, personally, these are going to be my, um, used mainly in the house. So honestly, I'm not going to need a strobe mode, but the fact of the matter is if you want to keep it in your car, then you can just keep it in a strobe mode where it has an SOS mode or something like that in case you do break down on the side of the road, need some help, then you will have a strobe mode available. So, I mean, it's a good all-around flashlight. So I like that you can change around the sets to fit your needs. <clears throat> I also like the fact that it has so many battery indicators. I mean, it actually has a strobe setting to the point where it will tell you how much battery you have. I believe, like I said, I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on with that battery indicator strobe setting. Um, it also has a low voltage indicator. I'm not sure how that works either because I've never gotten it to the point where it's at low voltage yet, but I'm assuming once you turn it on, right when you turn it on, it's gonna blink a couple times or maybe it's gonna intermittently blink a couple times when it's really low on voltage and it's time to charge it. Um, I also like the fact that there is a light inside here while you're charging it that tells you if it's charging or not. So if I were to plug this in right now, it would light up red telling me that it's charging. And once it's fully charged, it would light up green to tell me that it is fully charged. And the best part about it, the charger still works as a button. So you can actually keep this on the flashlight at all times. The downside about that is when you don't have the button on the button actually is a little recessed in where it clicks so you actually cannot activate it on a flat surface but this if you have it on as you can see it's actually raised up so you actually could accidentally activate the flashlight like so so if you're going to keep it in your glove box or something i would not keep that on here just in case it rolls over clicks on i mean it's it takes a pretty positive push to get that to activate so i don't think it's going to roll over and turn on uh that's not really going to happen but uh maybe it's a bumpy road it's going to be bouncing up and down clicks on then your battery's dead the next time you need it so i'll go ahead and just not have this attached but um yeah if you want to keep that in your glove compartment you can also keep this attached to your cable in your glove compartment. Boom. And then whenever you need to charge it, plug this into a USB port in your car, which everyone has, and then click that right on there. Boom. You're charging. The best part is you can actually have this charging. Let me show you. Plug that in. As you can see, there's red now in there. Unplug it. No red. So... Plug it in. As you can see, even when there's red, you can still use the flashlight. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it's actually charging while the flashlight is on. Maybe it like you know cuts off the charging when the flashlight's on. But 
as you can see, you turn it off and you can see the little red light. It is back to charging. So I like the fact that you can actually use it while you are charging the flashlight. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, and another thing is I, I fully trust the brightness settings of Convoy, so when it says this is 900 lumens, I actually do believe that it is 900 lumens. Um, I've tested these against, um, you know, more, more high-end, uh, high-end flashlights like Phoenix, Nikkor, Through Night, you know, the ones that are a little more expensive than these budget flashlights, and they do have the same brightness level as the 1000 lumen, you know, Phoenixes or the, uh, thousand lumen night core so i believe this is a true 1000 or two 900 lumen convoy as it claims um i have a couple other convoys these are not my only ones i have a couple more c8s lying around i got another l6 in the truck uh i got another one of these on the way actually but um yeah definitely like convoy the C8 and the X3 I'm not a big fan of because it's super counterintuitive. Just the, the, the way you use the modes and the way you switch between the two mode settings. This one only has two mode settings. But the way you switch between them is just, it's it's ridiculous. And the mode memory is just, it's not a smart or intuitive way of using it. Because you actually have to wait two seconds while it's on for it to set into mode memory. And then you turn it off and then turn it on. It's going to be on the same main. Uh, same mode, but if you turn it on for a second turn it off and then set it down It doesn't matter how long you have it off for it's it's you only had it on for less than a second So it's gonna switch modes that makes no sense. It's super counterintuitive not a big fan plus the convoy x3 and the c8 both have this Annoying high-pitched sound it makes whenever it's in like the medium mode for some reason So I think there's something wrong with the drivers they put on them um, <clears throat> This is my favorite convoy Convoy by far, 3,800 lumens for a $60 flashlight or $70 flashlight. I'm not sure. I think it was either $57 or $67. Uh, takes two 26650 batteries. Um, works exactly like these two right here. It's going to be the tail click, and you switch through modes by clicking the side button. And mode memory, doesn't matter um, how long you take to turn on or turn off or whatever. It's whatever you left it at, it's going to turn on in that mode every time. And to get to strobe mode, only one strobe mode doesn't have SOS. You just double click the side button and it goes to strobe mode. So that is actually my favorite convoy, but obviously these two are in completely different worlds. This is going to be a day to day. This is going to be like more of a camping or, you know, nightstand, you know, home protection you can use it as a fucking bat. This thing is giant. But, uh, yeah, 3,800 lumens for $60. That is insane. Um, this thing is incredibly bright. And I definitely believe it is four times as bright as my $100 1,000 lumen Phoenix flashlight, you know. Um, but, yeah. This thing is amazing. It's a great budget light. It comes with its own charger. It's it's I don't believe you can really beat this flashlight for its price point. Um definitely recommend getting it. Um pretty sure that's everything I need to get into. If I have anything else, I might attach it to the end of the video, but for now, uh thanks for watching. <clears throat> if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and post below. We'll get to them as soon as possible. And uh yeah, I think that's it. Convoy BDO6. Go ahead and get yourself one. Fucking love this thing. It's awesome. Alright, peace.